For the first time, the federal government plans to track and report opioid overdoses across the country in real time. And Chinese President Xi Jinping is on a three-day visit to Saudi Arabia. Good morning. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. The House is set to vote today on legislation that codifies marriage rights for interracial and same-sex couples. The measure has already passed the Senate. President Biden backs the bill and says he will promptly sign it. For the first time, the federal government will track and report opioid overdoses nationwide in real time. This comes as drug deaths have spiked more than 100,000 a year. NPR's Brian Mann has more. Federal agencies have long struggled to track drug overdoses. Information is often spotty and months out of date. Beginning today, officials will report non-fatal overdoses involving opioids, including fentanyl and heroin, using data collected from EMS first responders. Dr. Rahul Gupta with the White House Office of National Drug Control Policy says this information, updated every two weeks, will guide the public health response to overdose clusters. Provide first responders, clinicians, and policymakers with real-time actionable information that will improve our responses and ultimately save lives. The new system will only track opioid overdoses, which account for roughly 80 percent of drug deaths nationwide. Brian Mann, NPR News. The man accused of last month's fatal shooting of three University of Virginia students is in court today. Whitney Evans of member station VPM reports Christopher Jones Jr. faces several charges, including second-degree murder. Authorities say Jones, a student at UVA, opened fire on his classmates while aboard a charter bus headed back from a field trip in Washington, D.C. Three members of the school's football team, Devin Chandler, Lavelle Davis Jr., and Deshaun Perry, were all killed, and another two were injured in the attack. Jones, who was a member of the football team, is being held without bond in a Charlottesville area jail. Today's hearing will determine the next steps for the 22-year-old, including a potential trial date. Meanwhile, a special counsel appointed by Virginia's attorney general is looking into whether the university did all it could to prevent the shooting. Jones had prior criminal convictions and was the subject of a campus investigation involving a gun-related incident. For NPR News, I'm Whitney Evans. Chinese President Xi Jinping is in Saudi Arabia on a three-day visit. He's working to cement relations between the two nations. China is one of Saudi Arabia's biggest customers for oil. NPR's Jackie Northam says Xi's visit comes after President Biden's trip to Saudi Arabia earlier this year. Equally important uh, is the symbolism of Xi's visit, which shows that Saudi Arabia has other options than the U.S., and it may be recalibrating its foreign policy. NPR's Jackie Northam prepared that report. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is warning Ukrainians that repair workers cannot fully restore the country's power grid. Russian missile attacks have damaged it as winter deepens. Zelensky is encouraging people to adapt to blackouts. This is NPR.